today's vlog is gonna be a little different. I, I, I vlogged today. It wasn't much. Like I started my day off the morning. I woke up around seven o'clock this morning, and I was actually really late because I wanted to wake up by five thirty. And I wanted to wake up so early because about two finals today, and I wanted to wake up super early because last night I was like okay studying, but I wanted to definitely get it down this morning. Or the last couple days, I just haven't gotten any sleep in general. So I just wanted to get some good night sleep before I took two tests today. But the sacrifice of taking sleep is not studying. And But yeah, I got to school. By the time it was school, I got there about like 8 o'clock. My first final was at 11. I kind of got little snippets of the day like of me, you know, going into the classroom, sitting down or whatnot. It was just, little, it was just so little that it just wasn't really of a story. It wasn't really of anything. It was just... Black. I got done with my two finals about like four o'clock was about the time I got done. Yes! I'm officially done with school here here in San Marcos. Then then I just went to go eat, I got some torchies, and I went to the library, and at the library I kinda just realized that I didn't need to be at school anymore. There wasn't much going on today. I came home and I was like, I haven't got anything for the vlog, so I'm gonna give you a story time of how my semester was. And just so you know, yes, I am in a tree right now. I just thought it was pretty cool. You know, this year slash semester has been pretty good so far. Like, I, I went into the semester just trying to make friends. That was the point of me trying to come to Texas State and trying to just get involved in all these groups that there was going on. And you know, over the course of this semester, I have made a lot of friends. And these people just grown to just know and just grown to love because I've just been around them for so much this semester. And I've just gotten involved, especially at the community groups is where I've really, really just gotten close to them where we can just hang out and go out and be friends with each other. I remember, when I first met, you know, Jalen and Ari and Edgar and Paulina, when I first met all these people, like, you know, it was intimidating for me because at first I'm just such a, like, a shy person. I, it's hard for me just to communicate to people in general. Like, I've just always been like a reserved person. I've always just been to myself. And, you know, if they come talk to me, I'll come talk to them, the kind of thing. Like, it's never been me to go initiate anything. And, you know, this semester, in, I just really learned about a lot about my spiritually and just like what I can, what I'm capable of. Like at the beginning of the semester, I started the vlogs and I started the vlog, I wanted to see what happened. I felt pretty miserably at the beginning of the semester. I, and I just made an excuse as well because I didn't have enough time. I couldn't, I didn't know what to say. I was just too introverted. I didn't blah, blah, blah. As like the semester went on, I realized, you know, I do have time. I need to prioritize what I'm doing from school to work to church to life. I think towards the end of the semester, I really, really realized it and where my time was going and what I was doing. And you know, spiritually, what I really took away from this group this semester is just learning that people in Crosstalk are just so vulnerable. Like, I cherish that from them. Like, they will tell you everything about themselves and not be ashamed. And I think that's what I've learned from coming to Crosstalk and so much that, you know, to just become, try to become as vulnerable as possible and have fellowship with one another and just hang out with one another. And just, I think God definitely brought me to Crosstalk and initiated everything of this and for me it was just a big learning curve not learning curve but a life curve because I was so protected as like growing up and so like in my own bubble and kind of just floated with my parents and got went with my parents to places and went together and you know like I cherished that but you know also like I didn't really see how the outside world was until I started going to Texas State and this semester whenever I was staying out so late with friends I really cherished that and you know for so long I was trying to look for that one friend, that one best friend that everybody has and look for that one person that we can do life together and do everything together. But this semester just really had a revelation. You don't need just one friend. You can have multiple friends and each one of them can have their own different aspect to you. Like, you don't need that one person to fulfill all these things for you whenever you have a community group. You know, I don't, I don't want to forget my church here in Austin. Like, I live here in Austin and I've grown up in Austin. I lived in the same house since I was born, basically. So. You know, my Austin church here, like I'm actually at the church right now. Like I'm in that church basically making this video in the trees. There's big plans here. It's really cool because we just put in plans, the city to make, I think right now just a little, or a like 8,000 square foot house basically and have that as our main chapel. And right now we're in a little like shack that's about like a thousand feet. There's so much that has gone on this year. And like I've gone through, like I've gone through a roller coaster of so many things. And just to like see the finishing of the semester starting in the summer, and just to kind of like take the big picture of it and just kind of just say like, wow, like I feel blessed. Like I do feel blessed. Like, I only stayed busy this semester. And you know, today being my last day at Texas State, basically have taken both my finals, have finished class basically there. It's kind of just, it's eye-opening to see like how this school was portrayed as a party school, but yet I feel blessed leaving right now. Like I feel like I'm not done, like I just feel like there's more to come basically and that's why I'm really excited for next semester.
because I'll be living at Texas State. And that pretty much ends this talk. I don't know how organized it was. I just kind of just winged it because I was on my way home and I needed to keep studying and I still have a bio test tomorrow. But thanks for watching. I'll see y'all on Friday.